Now that we've done everything in 2D, let's move on to the next project. We still don't need to run the simulation, but this time we don't need to run it with an aircraft, and then we'll go and view it in 3D. The cyan color represents the path that the aircraft will take, and I'm going to start it at this point over here. Going back to my setup, specifying aircraft as my vehicle library. Looking at the many different options available to me, worthwhile pointing out the Dakota. This aircraft uses a tail steer. In my case, I'm going to go and select the Beechcraft King Air, which is a no steer. Specifying the swept path option and clicking on OK. Specifying the simulation path. Again, what I've done is I've put in a polyline. So I select the polyline, go and right click and select finish. Once the path is defined, I'm going to run the simulation. Looking at the aircraft from the plan view and then using my defined viewports. Coming into the terminal area, dropping off the passengers. And then moving on to the cul-de-sac. There you can see the extent of the simulation. Let's view it in a 3D format. I'm going to go and turn off 2D lines. And then using a 3D polyline, I've simulated the path that the aircraft would take. Let's go and view that in 3D. Go and right click, select render view. I need to point out that you just need the turn and the CAD module for this. But if you do have the roads module, it's easier to achieve this. Looking at the yellow line, we don't need to follow that path. I've given us a bit of a bumpy landing. So if you look at the yellow line, you can see we've got a bump once we have touchdown. And then moving on to the terminal, dropping the passengers off, and then moving on to our cul-de-sac. Taking full advantage of our 3D view, looking at it from different perspectives. And then right-clicking on the polyline and selecting Fly Along. Having a bit of a bumpy landing and then slowing down the simulation. Approaching the terminal area. Now, remember, if you want to stop, you can press V and look at the terminal. And then lock in your view again to the front view. Back onto the landing strip. You can see the swept path on the left and the right hand side. 